coming back real quick. We're not done yet. I uh, I moved the cheese to the front burner. I got it on a nice. You can see the steam. I got it on a nice full rolling boil there. The cheese is about halfway melted. I'm going to give that a few more minutes. The ground beef back here. This is done. Do a couple of raw onions in there before it finishes cooking, just to give it a little flavor. And that's ready to go. I'm keeping that warm. And then I took the uh, those diced tomatoes. I took about half the can of the uh, diced tomatoes with the jalapenos, and I added some raw onions, a little homemade salsa there. So that's ready to go. And we're finishing this this dirty water. Um, so basically, we're waiting on the cheese. And uh, yeah, this is gonna be good. Chatter, baby. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, that's simmering down. We had the, uh, I kept the meat nice and hot. Take a look at that, guys. Homemade nachos. Hoggy style. Now, let's see. A little space here. I'm going to do a good presentation. Tell me that ain't pretty looking. You know what? Hold that thought. Actually, no. I'm not going to hold that thought. I was going to put some uh, shredded cheese on top of that. But then I realized it's going to be on top of the salsa. It's not going to melt. No. All right, we're back, guys. And here we have the finished product. Yeah. Nachos, then cheese, then beef, then my little uh, diced tomatoes with jalapenos and onion salsa. And if I were so inclined, Valentina, my preferred hot sauce, and not the pussy Valentina with the yellow label, the hot, no, 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 black label, extra hot. Matter of fact, I am so inclined. So I'm going to milk this and just, got to be... There we go. Homemade nachos, huggy style. And before I even dig into this, Drank the first horrible fucking beer. One more keystone for the books. God damn, I don't have enough nails. I just clipped my nails last night. I couldn't get into that fucker. All right. So one more time for the record books. Like I said, I didn't want to disrespect my uh, my food with this crappy beer. But what the hell? I gotta wash it down with something. All right. Hot sauce, I got tomatoes, I got cheese, I got beef all on the one nacho. Oh yeah. I like the multi-grain nacho, that's good. Yeah, that's, that was good. So. Let's face it. When you go out and you eat Mexican food and you go buy nachos on the street, the little restaurants or whatever, what do you usually drink it with anyway? Shit like Modelo and Corona and, and uh, Dos Equis, the green bottle, which is crap. So what the hell? Here we go, guys. Hoggy's nachos. They're kicking ass. Peace on life. Sucking ass. And it is what it is. I'm going to eat that and then get to cleaning up. Fuck it, man. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do the recipe, uh, you know, if you cook this up yourself, 
I hope it comes out good for you. I hope you enjoy it. Hope I can help, you know? And on that note, I'm out of here. Stay the fuck away from Keystone. Any kind of Keystone. Fuck Keystone. Alright? Better.